Because time is our biggest asset. We can't buy it, we can't make it longer. When it's gone, it's gone. How many of you choose to use your time wiser? Hmm. There's a thought for you, Dana. I'm going to do a powerful meditation at sunset to clean out. Okay. So authentic contact. So authentic contact is firstly with ourselves. Because we all know, or hopefully you do know, that by loving yourself, you've got more to give to everybody else. And within giving that to everybody else, of course you receive it back. So when we look at the heart, if you split the heart, I'm not talking about the anatomical heart, if you split the shape of the heart right down the middle, this is about giving and receiving. But one of the big things that I teach my students when I'm teaching Reiki or anything else, is go back to basics. Most of you, all intelligent people, most people know what this means. Keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah? Keep it simple. Back to basics, the heart centre. Split it down the middle, it means give and take in equal proportion. How many of you, honestly, can receive? You know, if you went to a friend and they said, oh, I'll make you pretty. Or they came to your house, no, I'll make you one. I'll make you me. No, 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 I'll make you one. I'll take you after. No, 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 I'm taking you after. How many of you can receive? <laughs> Seriously. I'm going to challenge you on this, only because I'm about to learn hard, right? How many of you can really receive? If somebody said to you, I'm a millionaire, a millionaire, I give you a million quid, do you want it? How many of you could really receive that and really? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. most people can't. Most people become aware of the law of attraction, they want the Porsche, they want the big house or whatever they want. But they can't receive a simple cup of tea. Or if somebody gave them some flowers, oh you should have done, oh, I'm going to buy them for you next time. Mm. So think about that. Just think about the balance of can you receive. You know, because very often when we give everything away, then very often we're living by obligation. Does that make sense? Because we we just feel that, well, I want them to like me, or I don't want them to like me, or whatever. You know, when I came in, I couldn't have lifted one of them tables, and if the table that was here it was too low for me to bend down, so I had to ask Paul to move it for me. No issue with that. I would have had a few years ago, I assure you. Mm. I've learned the hard way. Well, and you're think... stopping someone this giving you something. Mm. Yes. You're stopping their flow, aren't you? Yes, you are. They Absolutely. Want to that, don't yeah. They? Yeah, it's a very good point. I have a friend who's a civil engineer. He earns a fortune, he earns about £600 a day, £1,000 a day. And he works all over the world. Very capable guy. And uh, no people skills, bless his cotton socks. He's not really in his heart centre. He likes to think he is, but he's not. But, you know, you hold to most base when they're in that place. And his mum's a pensioner, and she gave him 50 quid for his birthday. And you're dogging me that 50 quid, what are you giving me 50 quid for? That's terrible, you know, you haven't got the money, da da da. And when he told me this story, I could feel her energy just come right in. Because exactly what Trace said, if somebody wants to give you something and you say no, how do you feel? If you, you're wanting to give somebody a gift, even if it's a hug or just a smile or just a shoulder to lean on or anything, and they don't want it, it sucks. We've all experienced it and yet we probably do it for other people. So it's about mindfulness. So the intricate wheelies of your heart and soul are all about going back to mindfulness. So let's keep it simple. <laughs> 